Hello, everybody. This is Pastor Dean, and this is Five Mesmerizing Minutes. This week, this week, we're dealing with seven kinds of people who always fail. It's a teaching by Dr. Mike Murdoch that was sent to me, and I am so appreciated. I pr- appreciate his, his work. I appreciate Kenneth Copeland. I appreciate Jerry Savelle and Creflo Dollar and, and Jesse Duplantis and Keith Butler and, and, and so many others. They have pointed me in a direction that I cannot explain to you. Even though I go through financial hardships, my God supplies every need. It's incredible. Uh, The other day we were talking about the unpersuaded. There are some people who just do not want to be persuaded that God is real. They don't want to be persuaded that, that God has written his holy Bible. They don't want to be persuaded that uh, fellowship with other Christians is a good thing. And you know what? They suffer. They suffer. The undecided. They don't want to make that decision for Christ. The unfocused. There are some people who come to church, they get saved, they believe in Jesus Christ, they have a wonderful emotional experience, and two weeks later, they're right back to their immorality. Been there, done that. In Joshua 1, 7 and 8, listen to this. Only be thou strong and very courageous, that you may observe to do according to all the law which Moses my servant commanded. You turn not from the right hand or the left, that you may prosper whithersoever you go. That's Elizabethan language, and it's cleaned up a little bit because of uh, a ministry of Jimmy Swaggart's ministry. But let let me tell you something. The word of God is true. And I am the biggest skeptic in the world. I I examine everybody. Uh, We've got people constantly coming to this ministry for money. We've got people constantly coming for prayer. And uh, we have ministers who come here for prayer. And I say to myself, why don't you pray yourself? I have no special powers, but I am an instrument of God like you wouldn't believe. God, for some reason, uses me. And you can come to me for prayer, and I go to God, and God answers. I don't know why. But I have so many testimonies. I have people calling me constantly from India, from Pakistan, from Saudi Arabia. I can't, I can't return the phone calls. Don't know why. I, 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 well, I shouldn't say that. I believe that God's anointed me to preach the gospel, and I do it every single day by example, by word, by some vehicle, radio, television, And he blesses me. And he answers my prayers. I thank you. He says to me, be strong. And be courageous. That you may observe to do everything that the law says. Well, see, I'm an imperfect being. How can I do everything that the law says. Well, Jesus did it. He was a perfect man. And he was God. And because I believe in Jesus, according to John 3.16, because I believe in him, I have been determined 
in heaven to be perfect and just like Jesus. What a wonderful gift. This is Pastor Dean, and this is Five Mesmer... Mesmerizing Minutes.